Hi there. So there's been huge cuts to the library services in Bristol already, and many more cuts are on the way. Um, I'm not allowed to tell you too many details, but if you try and research it for yourself, it's very, very big, very, very significant amount of libraries could potentially be closed. And there's a few library staff who are trying to resist this, trying to get organized, trying to do things within their local unions, uh, in, the, in the unions I mean, and they need all the support they can get from, from other campaigners and anti-cuts movement to bring it all together. Because really when you cut one service, it has a knock-on effect to others, and that's really clear in the case of libraries. Mental health services, homeless services, just the cuts, the housing benefit, bedroom tax, everything has created a situation where libraries are the last refuge for a lot of vulnerable people. I just want to read uh, a poem, some of you might have heard me read it earlier on the megaphone, but it's, uh, it was just somebody put it up around libraries to make this, this point, basically. A library is not just a reference service, it's a place for the vulnerable. From the elderly gentleman whose only remaining human interaction is with library staff, to the isolated young mother who relishes the support and friendship that grows from baby rhyme time session, to a slow-moving 30-something woman collecting her CDs, libraries are a haven in a world where community services are being ground down to nothing. Library libraries are vital and their worth cannot be measured in books alone. Libraries provide so many other services apart from books, but even books are essential for people who are going through mental health problems, might be stuck in their house all day, not many friends. People who work in libraries go out of their way to help these kind of people. And, and not just that, people who are immigrants coming to the country, not speaking English very well, wanting to find a job and figure out what services are available to them. These are the kind of people who don't know how to use the internet very well, but need to use it for some things. More and more services, uh, public services, you need to use the internet to access. Library staff are the ones helping those people to like, log on to a computer, sort out what they need to do. And if they cut libraries, where else are people going to go? Some of the, sometimes people who are on the street, the only place they can go to get out of the warmth, get into the warmth, is the library. So please support the efforts of the and help us build up more of a library campaign in, in Bristol. Also, talking of just bringing people together, there's uh, been asked to make a shout out from Bristol anti-fascists. There is going to be a fascist march in Bristol on the 4th of March. And uh, check out Bristol anti-fascists website or web Facebook and everything to find out more details about the council mobilization. But we need to stand with the most vulnerable people in society, the people most picked on by the system, who are mainly Muslim people from migrant communities. Um, we need to stand with them. We need to stand with them for the sake of everything we believe in. And again, that's why libraries and all the public services are important. Cuts to them, cuts to these services disproportionately, disproportionately affects most vulnerable people. So yeah, talk to people here with the library signs to find out more about what they're trying to do because we really need, there's really serious cuts coming up. I can't tell you, but find out. Sorry.